so today we're talking about how I care for my spider plant Graziella and here she is in all her glory she's actually very easy to take care of no fuss um, the only issue I have is um, the fact that she has brown tips not too sure what the reason is um, but I'm trying to figure that out so here is my spider plant which is in the back over here and um, this is the current setup it's actually at my fake table sorry my fake plants table um, I've relocated there since I purchased my uh, grow light here as you can see it looking nice it's working beautifully and I'll link it in the description below right so this is where it stays and I have to go light on about nine hours a day every day um, from about 9 a.m. till what time is it is that over like five nine to five or nine to six <laughs> nine to six so this is where it stays and it's pretty happy here in terms of humidity it's about 50 to 60 percent humid and the um, temperature is around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius uh, the soil that I repotted her in is mostly potting soil with about 10 to 15 percent orchid bark to help with drainage um, when it comes in to watering I wait for about the top two inches to be dry before I water her and I generally generally tend to bottom water so I'll just plop her in a bowl of water and wait for it to soak up the water now I don't wait for the full pot the whole pot to soak up the water to the top what I'll do is wait for maybe the first the top inch or the for top yeah top inch to to remain dry and then what I'll do is take her out and let the rest of the soil soak up the water that's in the pot I use filtered water straight from my built my Brita filter and she seems to be doing okay with it um, as I said she's very healthy still very healthy um, when it comes to fertilization um, I've done it maybe about two to three times since I purchased her and I've had her about four months now um, and she's doing great now one thing about the spider plant is that it is slightly toxic to pets and animals and it has a hallucinogenic effect um, so what I do is I keep it up high um, away from the children and my my cats know um, now my kids generally don't put the plants um, in their mouth um, as I mentioned she has been attacked on a few occasions um, and she's had her her leaves ripped off a couple of times but um, if you have children that tend to put things in their mouth often um, then you should make sure that you keep it away from their reach but as I mentioned you know she's very easy to take care of that's really about it for um, the spider plant and how I care for it and every home is different every home has different conditions you know temperature humidity um, so it's it's really up to you and your commitment and in taking care of them um, you know and finding that perfect condition for your plants um, not just a spider plant obviously um, one thing I do do with my plant um, uh, with Graziella is that I will give her a spritz of water every now and then just to um, see if maybe it might help with the brown tips. Um, seems to be working okay, I'm not too sure, uh, but uh, so far so good with her. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos okay I hope you enjoy the rest of your day take care guys Bye.